Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you this video right here. Um, just went and got a Kubota tractor because I needed a tractor. Some of the other stuff that I have don't work good and don't have anything to work with. And, and I needed something to work with. So, But I got a Kubota tractor. going to show you this right quick. And hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to just give you an idea of what, what, what all I got with it. I'll just say it comes with a bucket. It's got the LA 525 on it. And um, this is the Kubota Boom L2501. You see that? And um, Kubota is orange. One guy said he would buy, he's going to buy him a Kubota when it got orange enough. Well, they're already orange enough. He was just joking. But um, so, bought the Kubota. It's free interest, too. And um, you can't beat that. And it's just something, you know, I got low payments because I paid some down on it. And I'm just trying, you know, I'm getting older. I need something to work with. That's the reason I bought it. Another reason I bought Kubota was I did a lot of reviews on the Kubota. And one man told me he had a Kubota and a John Deere. And he told me, he said, I use the Kubota way more. He said, I like the Kubota better. He says it's made out of more metal than the John Deere. Um, the fenders and the hood is metal. And he said, that's the reason he, he liked that better. But he said, he just liked the way the Kubota, the Kubota was set up. So we got a Land Pride. Um, box blade bb 1260 you see that and i bought this in a, another state three hours away and i was amazed they had one called the guy and he, he gave me a hundred dollar a hundred dollars off compared to what other places was charging and i won't call names and um, ended up getting this one for seven hundred dollars and i was tickled to death because the, the other place i was looking at um they told me those was over eight hundred dollars so and you know it has four of these on there um, that, that'll dig down and um, some people use these things they'll even dig their garden a little bit you got to be careful because you don't want to tire nothing up you got it better be dug before it better be soft ground and you have to take some pliers some people might be strong enough to squeeze these together to adjust these up and down but i use pliers so that's pretty much for that just the box blade i got the box blade got front end loader also i got some forks 42 inch forks um to go with it to pick up logs and stuff like that right there and um because we're, we're doing some work and some things that we're trying to work on. All right. You know, you got the smaller tires in the front, bigger tires in the back. And I'm going to show you where to change oil at. It's simple. Um, here's where you check the oil. So over here on this side, they say some of the tractors is on the other side um, to check the oil with. I don't know which ones that would be. I hadn't really checked all of that out. You check the oil right here and you put the oil in up here. There's a cap right here. And also you got your oil filter right here. So everything's together. And then, you know, you have to drain your oil out underneath. And um, I want to show you the axle on it. The axles are pretty big on these things. I really like the way the axles look compared to the other um, one I was looking at. I won't call the name, but um, I just like the size of this axle. It's beefy. It looks good. And you got the grill guard. And there's a picture of the bucket. It's a pretty good size bucket. I could probably sleep in that thing. I don't know. And um, also, you have the grill guard, you have the hood. I'm gonna show you how to open that. If you're thinking about getting a tractor, I'm gonna try to use my elbow to do this. Pull, okay, let's just pull this pin out and it just comes right down. And also, right underneath this hood, there is a little pin, you pull it, that thing just raises right up. And it, it, it rained last night, got a little wet, cause I got caught in the rain right at dark. And there's your fluid levels, it's, it's full. And um, also I wanna show you um, the screen right here. You pull this up and you can pull this screen out. There's a screen here and you need to keep that screen clean. And a lot of people will take and they'll mow with a five or six foot mower attached to the back of the tractor. These things get filthy. And I've heard in some of the shops, they say they'll come in and they'll be that thick with filth on them. They don't clean them up. Well, that's the life of your motor. You need to keep these things clean and your filter here also. Keep all this stuff clean when you're using your stuff. I don't care if it's a lawnmower or what it is. So I'm going to put the hood back down. Just a simple pull down. And it just locks in place. That goes right back. Got a little play in it, but that's okay. And remember, there's your pin right there to open it up with. And um, you see all of this. I'm going to show you. Here's your little step here. That's nice to have that right there to step up on and you got a handle right here you can grab a hold of but i just put my hand right here um, or the steering wheel i wouldn't really pull on that a whole lot because i noticed the steering wheel is not made for that but 
just step up on your tractor and then I'm going to show you something else. Um, I like the gauges on this thing. You got the clutch on the left hand side and also right down here, I've got it in four wheel drive right now. I started up a bank while ago and it started spinning because you know this is the R4 tires. It's not the real tire up tires like the R1s, which I like the R1 tires. But this one here has got the R4s on it. They're not as tall here. And I think they make the R14, if I'm not mistaken. But this won't tire your yard up, but you still got some traction. And let me go back over here. Like I said, I got it in four-wheel drive. It's a four-speed. Um, it's, it's in neutral right here. You want to go to first gear, all you got to do is just push it up right there. That's it. You want to go to third gear, you got to come over here and push it up. And here's your brakes. You push these down, you can lock them in right there. And all you got to do to unlock them is just do that number right there. They're unlocked. And another thing is right down here on your right side, this engages. Let me see if you can see that. It's orange. It's hard to see. This thing here engages um, both back wheels at one time. They'll both turn at one time. And that's what engages them. Gives you more traction. Um, so, and then one thing I really do like, I'm going to crank this thing. You need to turn the switch back to the left. See those lights come on there. Wait about five seconds, especially if it's cold. You don't have to do it on a hot day if you've been running and everything. Now let go of it and then just crank it up. I love to hear the diesel run. I love diesel. This one's got eight tenths of a mile on it. That's all. And uh, it's full of gas. They put diesel fuel in it for me. And I enjoy that because they get that. And here's your... Put the gas down, pull the gas back. I'll show you another little thing right quick if you're thinking about buying a tractor. Remember there's your brakes. This right here raises, pull back, it lowers. Okay, pull back, it raises, pull that push up, it lowers. Now if you want to drop the front of that blade down, you go to the right with this. It's turning to the right. Simple stuff. You know tractors. You know what I'm talking about. Got a place to get some water, um, coke, or whatever you want to drink there. And we're going to put this thing in gear. I'm going to put it in first gear. And I'm going to put it in low range. And it's in four wheel drive right now. Never force the four wheel drive. You can break something. Never force that in. Let it go in on its own. I put everything in neutral when I do that. And one other thing that I really like is this little thing right here. Let's say you're pulling your box plate and you need more power and you don't want to have to reach up here and pull this down. You can take that thing. This is more gas. I love that feature right there and that it's all above the tractor. And you can see where I was uh, pulling the box plate yesterday. Not the box plate, but the front end loader. I had it down trying to level this off right here for a reason and I just went through it one time but it pulled enough I didn't put a whole lot of pressure on it but I just wanted to show you that now if I put this thing in first it's in first gear low range I'm going to put it in high and this is a medium run right now not quite to our but in low range it moves pretty good it's about all the man needs really I don't know what it'll do in fourth gear. I hadn't tried it, but we're going to try it. Let's see what it'll do. Let me make the turn here. I've got something I've got to work on today, but i got to go down a steep hill, and I just don't know how that's going to work out. And let me see if we can do what it'll do. We'll get over these little stuff. All right, I'm going to pull the box blade up a little bit. We're going to put this thing in fourth gear in high range and I've got the gas down here if I want to get the more gas so we're going to let out on it and see what it'll do oh hey all right this thing moves pretty good if you want to get the more gas right foot 
Oh, yeah. That's that's faster than I needed to go right there. Now, if you're out on the road and you need to get somewhere, that's all you need to do. So I'm going to turn the gas back down. And fourth gear, it does move good. Just wanted to give you a little demo on this. We'll be doing some projects, and we'll show you some other things. And then you know where your power takeoff is and all of that down on the bottom there. So and we can lock the brakes in. This brakes down. Lock them in right there. I got it in neutral. I'll put it in neutral over here as well. Make sure everything's in neutral. You get done, you just want to put your blade down. That helps keep it from rolling. And you can put your box blade down by just pushing down on that. And I'm going to show you the flasher lights. There's your flasher lights and she has her lights. They work real well. And that's where the button is on that. And also, I'm going to cut these lights on here. They got like two or three seconds, but we'd have to look at that at the night time. And then there's your signal light. You turn right or left. I'll turn it on the right side. And then go down, that would be the left side. So if you're looking to get a Kubota, um, I'm not getting nothing out of this. Believe me, I'm having to pay for this machine. And I'm hoping I can pay this thing off one day. So, they're pretty bright. I believe they're going to be bright at night. And like I said, I'd love to hear the diesel run. I'm going to reach over here and turn it off. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you will, give us a like and subscribe to us. Uh, we got a lot of projects going on. We're trying to build a log cabin. And um, this is one reason we got this. And um, that I, I went ahead, I prayed about it. And, and, and this is the way I was led. I was led to the boat aside. And um, so you see it's a four-wheel drive, and I know they make the hydrostatic, but I honestly like the four-wheel drive better. Let me turn these lights off. don't want to run my battery down. But I like the four-wheel drive better, and I like the four-speed because for what I do, that's what I need. If a man was just mowing and using um, a, a mowing blade, no, I think the hydrostatic would be good. And I think also I've heard that it, it's less to put a clutch in one of these things than it is going into your hydrostatic, which I don't know how good and how long they last. And I do need to line my bucket up, or not my bucket, but my box blade. I need to line that up a little better. I need to find a level place to get it where I want it. And there's there's a lot of settings on here. You use these to turn, to tilt. You can tilt it, and you can turn these down here and get all of this stuff straight. You got several little settings there, and that's just something you got to work with. Hope you enjoyed this. God bless. Have a great day.